Yo, como están? This is Wild Down Tuesday, and thank you for joining my channel. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell for future notifications. Got to get over here to the left lane. This week's topic actually came about someone talking to me about the tail gutter, and for some reason they thought it was more like an enforcer for some reason. So we're going to go over the duties and responsibilities of the tail gunner for an NMC. Hit the intro. Yo, it's Wild on Tuesday, and thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. So before I forget, I'm actually on my way to visit an uh, old cowboy. Uh, I mean, he hasn't been in my videos, guys, lately. Uh, we write almost every day still. Uh, I just uh, don't post his videos for that. But I'm going over to his house to surprise him with his new guardian bell. So, here's a picture of it. So, at the end of the video, I'm going to post the video of him seeing that guardian bell placed on his butt. And see his reaction. So, let's get back to this, uh, this week's title. This week's topic, we're going to be talking about the duties and responsibilities of the tail gunner for an MC. Usually a motorcycle club actually has about two road captains. The tail gunner is more like a code road captain. They're usually called, the road captains like the lead, and the tail gunner is a drag. I think some people call them sweep or something too. But I, myself personally, encourage motorcycle clubs or the road captain and tail gunner to actually use a Bluetooth device, a matching Bluetooth device, easy to communicate with each other. The responsibilities of a tail gunner, I mean, every club is a little different, like I said. There's no rule book for anything. But the tail gunner helps the road captain in his duties. There's a lot of stuff and planning that actually goes on for the road captain, so sometimes they do need that hand. The tail gunner may be needed to take on the duties of the road captain if something would happen uh, during the, if they split, if the like, group splits up or the road captain, something happens with the road captain. So you always have to be prepared. One of the main things, and is a pet peeve of mine, the tail gunner should have be responsible, not just for a first aid kit, but a trauma first aid kit. It should have the cat. Uh, tourniquets, Israeli bandages, and so forth. And they have to be supplied with good toolkit also. And it should be for multiple persons, not just a single little kit. Especially when you're in the big group. I think multiple people should be having these kits. And these folks that are should be trained for motorcycle accident trauma by first state and state. That's my, just, just me. And the tail gunner is going to be in the back. Remember, they're called the drag. The road captain is usually in the front lead, left track, and the tail gunner is going to be in the back. And they ride in the back, unless something happens and it's required, like I said, to take responsibilities of the road captain, then he'll go all the way to the uh, front lead, uh, left track. The tail gunner needs to make sure that they can see any dangerous conditions, the conduct of the rider and take immediate action and actually inform the road captain at the earliest, safest opportunity of anything that he can see that is going to happen. Using the tail gunner will ride where they can see the formation the best. They have to protect the lane. On the road, as the MC prepares to make a lane change, the tail gunner himself will make the lane change as soon as possible, followed by the road captain. Then the remainder of the group will move. In this way, the tail gunner protects the lane, keeping it clear for the entire group to actually move over to that lane. If there's any issues mechanically, medically, the tail gunner has to stop and allow the rest of the MC to go ahead and stop somewhere safe. Then make sure to call and let the road captain know what's going on. The tail gunner will be observing any new or inexperienced riders to make sure everyone is safe, like I said. They're the view from the rear. If something would happen, they're the first ones actually to respond. Mostly everybody else doesn't know what's going on behind them. So they have a good view of anything that could be happening. 
And like I said, they ha always have to be prepared to assume the road captain responsibilities and kind of learn a lot from the road captain himself. They have to notify any rider if they see any tail lights that are not working, any mechanical issues, tire issues, swaying, bearing issues. The tail gunner needs to see that. And the tail gunner will stop and collect any bag or luggage that falls off a bike or so to make sure everybody's safe. And the big thing is that he has to communicate. Has to communicate with the road captain. Like I said, it makes it really, really simple when there's Bluetooth communication. Uh, you know, everybody uses hand signals, but if you're communicating instantly with Bluetooth, everything is a little smoother. And this is just the basic stuff, basic foundation of the highway riding. There's a lot more that goes into it. When they go to events, parking lots, uh, the way they go single fall in, the, the way everything's controlled with the road captain. I mean, the road, I did a video before about group riding and uh, responsibilities of road captain. Maybe I should just break down make the video of just a road cap. Uh, but there's a lot that goes involved, especially coming from events and other things. There's more club business talking that I'm not going to talk about. Uh, but the reason I came up with this topic, someone saw the tail gunner name and they were assuming it was like an enforcer. And I just was trying to explain to him what the tail gunner really does. So that's what gave me the idea to make this video. I mean, the tail gunner does do a lot of security stuff also for the MC since he's in the back. And uh, about other clubs passing, uh, other uh, more cyclists passing by, and uh, there's there's a lot more than about the chase car, truck. There's a lot more things that get involved, but I'm just talking basic stuff, basic responsibilities of the tail gunner. Uh, so hopefully I made that video surprising Cowboy with the Guardian Bell. Since he lost his, I bought that Guardian Bell that I showed earlier, and I'm going to go because technically the Guardian Bell has to be placed by the person who bought it. A lot of people get gifted a Guardian Bell and they put it on themselves, but you're not supposed to do that. So I'm going to use that as an excuse to tell him that once I put it on, he can't take it off. And we'll see his reaction. Let's go see it. You can look at it. <laughs> what is it? Fucking. <laughs> 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 yeah. This nigga put a dick and balls. <laughs> this guy put a dick and balls on her. Oh, man. All right, guys, he took it really well. He said he's not going to take that Guardian Bell off. He loves it. Uh, it's more about the gift, man, uh, when you're with a brother. I mean, that's what means the most. Uh, so it's like we always talk about it's the journey, not the destination. It's all when you're wrenching it with your brothers and riding around. That's what makes uh, makes it all worthwhile. So till next week's guys, please, if you didn't hit the like, hit the like, hit the subscribe and the bell for future notifications. And remember, February 3rd, the man behind the patch. I'm going to be live with Randy from the Chingalings from New York. Till next week, much love and respect. Peace.